So Apple released their original AirPods on September 7th of 2016. I know, I did my research. But the new AirPods Max costing $550 or $780 here in Canada. It seems a bit expensive, right? But I have no doubt that a lot of people will actually love this product. And hear me out. It takes everything that you love uh, about the Apple AirPods and the AirPods Pro and just puts them in an over-year design. If you look at the price of the AirPods Pro, costing around $250, this is actually just twice the price of that. It has double the chips inside the AirPods Pro, it's considerably better sound quality, and also you can connect it to your computers via cables. So if you look at the features, it's actually not that outrageous. Now Apple says that AirPods Max uses adaptive EQ to adjust the sound to the fit and seal of the ear cushions by measuring the sound signal delivered to a user and adjusting the low and mid frequencies in real time, bringing rich audio that captures every detail. This might just be extreme marketing, but I think this is pretty important because I have, um, I have the AirPods Pros and they do sound really good. They are computing 100 times per second to adjust the sounds, so it makes the audio a lot better. That has one H1 chip, but in the AirPods Max, there's two, one in each ear. So I think it's gonna be a lot faster and the processing should definitely help with the audio itself. The AirPods Max not only features noise cancellation, it also features transparency mode. I'm not sure if there's a in-between mode, but transparency is great. If you have the AirPods Pro, you would know you can just hold it down and transparency mode would turn on. You can basically hear everything all around you. And this is especially important because on the AirPods Max, there's nine microphones. All over the thing, there's nine microphones. So transparency mode actually nearly works perfectly you know where the sounds are coming from since there's microphones in every direction. And also it's really clear because you can't just accidentally block off the microphones. The weight of the AirPods Max is 386 grams, which is twice the weight of the iPhone 12 Pro. This might sound really, really heavy, but it's actually not that. Um, a lot of YouTubers such as MKBHD or iJustine have made videos about them since, you know, Apple sends them review units, but the top of the headphones are made of this mesh material similar to the HomePod, and that really puts all of the weight around your head. So you don't actually feel as much of the weight as you would with a standard pair of headphones. I've heard people say like, they actually feel like air. So, you know, AirPods, air, it's like on brand. Next up, to control the audio, you would use a digital crown. That's also how you turn on the Siri. The digital crown is very similar to the digital crown on an Apple Watch. and this is actually for continuity. Or I believe Apple had tried to experiment with gesture control on the sides of the headphones because it's really flat on the sides. Also, um, John Prosser, another YouTuber, has made leaks suggesting that Apple was trying to make this um, have touch gestures, but it seems like they couldn't do it. Um, if that's the case, or even if it's not the case, you have the digital crown, which is very great as well. You can just turn it and it changes the volume hold it down, activate Siri, it's really intuitive. The fit of the AirPods Max are actually really great as well. You can move each ear cup around, extend the headband, and bend the mesh headband. This is honestly one of the most adjustable headphones on the market. So if you're worried that Apple headphones might not fit your head that well, this should not be a problem at all. Some more features are that the AirPods Max last 20 hours between charging. This is not the best, it's not industry leading, but it's still one of the best. Five minutes gets you another 90 minutes of listening, and you can put it in the included smart case, which starts an ultra low power mode that extends the battery life even longer. The AirPods Max comes in silver, space gray, uh, green, sky blue, and pink, which are very similar to the colors for the iPad Air. You can also buy replacement ear cuffs. So if you break them or if you damage them in any way, or even if they get dirty over time, you can buy replacement ear cuffs and put them on, but you can also buy different colored ones. So you can mix and match. You can also plug in an audio source if you want. To do that, you just have to have a lightning to headphone cord that Apple sells for $35. Um, you plug it in and I've actually seen people make podcasts and they say this is one of the best uh, headphones to make podcasts because it's really comfortable. You can wear it for hours and barely feel it. So basically there's a lightning port, which is how you charge the device. You plug in an adapter 
lightning to headphone jack and then you plug in the other side so like your audio interface or just your computer itself and you can be using the device as a wired headphone i'm sure professionals like people who make songs or podcasters would really appreciate this. This device is not made for the general public since no average person would spend $550 on a pair of headphones, but it's really targeted towards professionals, similar to the Pro Display XDR. It costs $6,000, but you know, there's a niche for that. And I think there's a niche for AirPods Max as well. If you are making songs and you just need the best of the best for audio quality and comfortability, this is our dream headphone. It sounds amazing according to everyone who's reviewed it. It feels great, it fits great, and you can connect it to your computer via wires. So it's really not for the general public. If you are looking to buy one, I would recommend you probably not to, but for other people who buy if you're really expensive headphones for podcasting or making song, this is actually cheaper than most options and it sounds better. So this pair of headphones are really made for a niche market. Overall, I think this is still a great product, just not for the most of us. So if you want to see more of my content, just subscribe. You won't be seeing any ads. But yeah, that's about it. Click on a video on the screen right now and take care.